The next technique we'll be demonstrating is using a natural sea sponge. In order to do this technique properly, you're going to want to put a base coat of a satin finish paint on your wall. And you're also going to choose a glaze coat color that is three to five shades different. Watch this next portion on the video on how to choose your base coat color and your glaze coat color. When you're using glazes to create your faux finish, you need to have a base coat of a satin finish paint on your wall. In this particular situation, I'm going to choose this as my base coat. So I'm going to roll this color on the wall. From there, we need to choose a contrasting color that we'll mix our glaze out of. Now that color can be either lighter or darker than this. It should be three shades either lighter or darker than your base coat color. So in this situation, I'm going to choose one, two, three shades deeper than my base coat color. And that's the color I'm going to mix my glaze. After you've chosen your paint colors, then you're going to want to take the natural sea sponge and rinse it out under warm water before you begin. Because it's kind of stiff before you begin, you, when by rinsing it, it will make it soft and pliable in order to do the painting. When you're using glazes to create your faux finish, you have two options. You can either buy pre-mixed glazes. Those are glazes that have color in them already. Or, if you choose, want to customize a color to create a glaze, then you can do that. How this is done is by purchasing a gallon of faux glazing liquid and combining it with a quart of paint. The ratio is four parts glaze to one part paint. Put it together and mix it up and you have a glaze. Now we've done all of our preparation, we've got our base coat color on the wall, we've mixed up our glazes, now we're ready to have some fun with the sponge painting. The type of sponge painting we're going to be doing is sponging off. And if you're doing this technique you're, and you're working on a large surface area, I think it's best to work with two people. So if you have a friend around, invite him or her to give you a hand. In this situation, I'm going to have my friend Amber give me a hand. And Amber's going to actually be applying the glaze coat to the surface using a roller. So with that said, why don't you go ahead and apply your glaze coat. Amber's applying her base coat of glaze on the surface and she's paying close attention to get it on relatively evenly. She's going to do a, a reasonable area so that I'm able to follow along rapidly behind her. Now I have my sponge and I'm ready to begin removing the glaze and cutting into it to create my look. So I begin tapping and I have a cotton cloth here, and I'm going to use that to actually blot off any extra glaze that I get on my sponge. So I just begin pouncing on the surface. When it looks like I've got some too much glaze on here, I'll remove it on the, on the cotton cloth and begin pouncing again. Now this is a very subtle technique, but it is very beautiful. It also goes very rapidly. Now as I get closer to the area that Amber's working, she's actually going to go ahead and continue rolling the glaze. This enables me to work continuously behind her so that we don't have any harsh lines of starting and stopping points. Well, that was a lot of fun working with Amber to do this technique. Thanks, Amber, for giving me a hand. And it is beautiful, and it's a lot of fun, and that's sponging off using a natural sea sponge. <laughs>